Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video, I'd like to take a closer look at cooked food negativity, especially how it applies to this YouTube channel and all the people who are making negative comments. Now, I want everyone to stop and think about this, especially the people making the negative comments. My YouTube channel is all about helping people who are suffering. And I want, to, I want you to guys ask yourself, what kind of piece of shit are you to attack people who are helping people who are suffering? What kind of piece of shit are you? I'll tell you what kind of piece of shit you are. Go down below the description box and do the first of my three-step process. Go on a solid food vacation and you'll see the kind of piece of shit you are. You see, I know why you're a shithead. Because <laughs> you're full of shit. I'm literally being literal here. You're full of shit. One of the best lessons I learned when I, when I started doing juice fast, especially when I went the distance, it took me three months to eliminate a 20-pound cesspool that was inside me that was hard and dried, documented it coming out, weighed 45 pounds coming out of me. The best lesson I learned from all that was that all of us have, great, have got great excuses for being assholes. And look at how many fucking assholes there are all on my channel. I love it. You know what that means? That means that people are finding out about this and we're being attacked. See, this is what happens with the truth. I'm gonna be attacked, I understand that. That's how the system is. The system wants to stay the way it is. It, it has to attack anything that threatens it. The truth threatens the status quo. We live in a sick world. You guys wanna stay here? We're all suffering. Even the people who are on top of the heap inside the hole. <laughs> we're all in a hole, man. And you could be at the top of the heap inside this hole, at the top ruling it, but you're still in a fucking hole, man. Wake up. You got to devote all your time and energy to keep on top of the hole. Look, we got to get all out of the hole. Anyone out of the hole is better than everyone in the hole. I don't care if you're at the top of the heap. I know you're suffering, man. All communication is either a loving, uh, uh, a loving response or a cry for help. So all the negative comments we have out there are people coming here crying for help. Help me, help me. I'm full of shit. Look at my speech. Look what I do. I attack someone who's helping people. What kind of shit are you to attack people who are helping people? What kind of shit are you? You're a shithead. You're full of shit. You got a serpent inside you. That's what Victor Hugo meant. Jesus called it Beelzebub. The devil himself is inside of us. We got crap influence in our thoughts and our behavior. And then we're lacking the sunlight energy to make us feel one with everyone. So when we're taking a crap on someone else and being negative over there, you're doing it to yourself. And you don't, you don't sense it, you don't feel it. It's, 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 it's saddening to, to finally get connected to everything and realize the bulk of the people you're supposed to be connected to are disconnected. It's devastating. No man's an island. The individual cannot escape the collective. You can't come out of Plato's cave and ever be out of it. You're always going to be in it because that's where everyone else is at. We got to get out of this hole. We got to stop being like crabs that keep grabbing the next guy getting out. We got to go the other way, pulling us out. We can pull ourselves out of this hole once we realize we are literally full of shit and we're lacking sunlight energy that makes us sense we're all one with everything. Those are the two huge contributing factors to the dark side of our behavior. And then the dark side of our behavior is why we have negativity. Cook food, negativity. Cook food, destroy the sunlight energy we store in the nucleus of our cells. Negativity, it's a symptom. And it's contagious, don't catch that disease. Realize what it is, they're crying for help. They're all crying for help. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a great battle. Even the assholes that are coming here and trying to create negativity. They're hurting, they're in pain. And most of them just don't know it. And they don't even know what they're doing is a subconscious cry for help. Help me, help me. Convince me I gotta do this. Why else would I be on this guy's website or YouTube channel? He's talking about a solution. It's the ultimate solution. And, and that's the purpose of this channel, is to help educate and motivate each and every one of us so that we can all play our individual role when it comes to solving every problem that is 100% within our control and then be a huge contributing factor to solving problems where we have limited control. Acts of war, crime, and violence. 
We have limited control over a lot of these things, but they're a reflection of us. The bell, remember, we're like a bell of bad behavior. The bell itself has to change if we don't like the edges of the bell. Now, the saints are nice to have around, aren't they? But then they confuse us because they're, they're eating the wrong food, and people go, look, they're eating the wrong food, but they're the best of we got. So apparently, eating the wrong food doesn't matter. No, they're the exception, just like there's the exception on this side, the worst end. The end that's controlling us because we're out of control. We gotta gain back control. And what we're missing is cellular communication. Dr. Pop gave it a name, he called it a biophoton, invented an instrument in 1974. Two years later in 76, it's a biophoton. Bio's life, photon is light. It's not only light, it's coherent sunlight energy, and not only that, it's faster than the speed of light. Whoa! It's, it's one of our senses, it's why we suffer. It's why we have negativity in this world. It's all, it all goes back to cooked food. That's why it's always a raw food, cooked food perspective. Why do we have negativity? We live in a sick world, why is it sick? We're making mistakes. What are we doing wrong? We're not interacting with our environment the right way. That's what the problems are there for. It's part of our feedback system. Remember, we're living systems. We're subject to this law of cause and effect. Don't let anyone trick you and say that the duality fades into the oneness of everything, therefore there's no right or wrong. No. Yeah, there is a oneness to all of us. That doesn't have anything to do with us being a human being and having a feedback system to tell us we're screwing up. That's what that negativity is for. Remember, we've got cause and effect. When we look at the effects, they're either positive or negative. Feedback, what, what's a negative effect from? Making mistakes, how do we do that? Well, we either apply false knowledge or we're not willing to apply what we know up here. If we apply what we know, we satisfy our needs, we don't make any bad applications. The mistakes we're making is where we are, we are taking something that we mastered, applying it to one of our needs, and now we're making a mistake, and now we got problems. So when we look at our problems, let's make it simple. Let's just say there are only two pieces in this puzzle that down here on the corner. Now I'm referring to a special teaching tool I created. You can go down below and go to theultimateschematic.com if you want to learn more about this. But it's basically three stages of knowledge. So divide your screen into three stages. You can do this visually. This isn't complicated. You put it in the middle. So you got three boxes on the top and three on the bottom. Knowledge. So, uh, satisfying our needs, good applications. We're in paradise. We got we're, we're have unlimited potential, positive effects. But then we have false knowledge down here, uh, and then we have mistakes. We're not satisfying our needs. Uh, we're making bad applications, and then we got all these problems. And then the problems there are either two of them. So there's only two main pieces in this puzzle. So I tried to make things simple, so we can go. Okay, it's either 100% within our control, 103, or not 100% within our control, 104. Can't do anything about those, we gotta treat the symptoms. If it's outside our control, nothing to do. But when it's, in, when it's within our control, it's because of the, our lifestyle choices, the things we do in that second stage of knowledge, where knowledge is applied. So we are the enemy by what we do. But the problem is we don't have the knowledge, and now we're the enemy again, because that's what's keeping us from finding the knowledge. It's a problem of knowledge, and the easiest way to deal with every problem of knowledge we have, and there are a bunch of them, I identified 55 of them, and you can go to the ultimate solution, doc, uh, ultimate solution uh, playlist. I've made a, a one long video on it where I explain all the pieces to that puzzle. Um, uh, or you can go ahead and, and, uh, and do the juice feast. That's the best way to start. Do a solid food vacation. That's the easiest way to deal with all 55 problems of knowledge. It's piece, piece 54.5. That's where we test an idea whose time has come. That's where we prove to ourselves that we literally are full of shit. Now, how would you not want to know that, my friend? If you're listening to my videos, stop and think for a moment, what if what I'm saying is true? Oh, no, every, all the experts say there isn't. We've seen the scopes. There's nothing in there. Prove it to yourself. The scope doesn't check out your entire 30-foot food tube. I guarantee you, you got more crud inside you than you can imagine. At least most of us do. Now, there's a lot of ways around that. Eat one meal a day. I'd notice people can do pretty well if they limit their bad food choices to only one meal a day. But why make bad food choices? That's the key. Why are we doing it? It's part of our traditions. That's how we start our journey off in life. 
on the wrong path with this false knowledge where we make the mistakes and then we have these problems that are within our control. So we make it simple. They're either 100% with their control or they're not 100% with control. And the, the thing about the world we live in, we've been tricked and convinced that most of our problems are outside of control. They're not. So that's the purpose of this YouTube channel is to help all of these people who are suffering needlessly lied to, told to go to their doctor, given drugs and surgery, chemical solutions for lifestyle related problems. There are no chemical solutions for lifestyle related problems. That's the purpose of this YouTube channel is to help all of us who are suffering and then so we can play our role and be the best that we can be. That's one of the main purposes of my channel. My other purpose is to unite everybody on this planet who wants to make this planet better. But most of you guys that I'm referring to are, 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 are doing downstream solutions. And we need down, a lot of downstream solutions. Remember, my main purpose on this channel is to help us go upstream, but at the same time realize we gotta go downstream. So what I wanna do now with all you downstream people is unite you guys and make sure you're aware of going upstream and most of you don't know that. So that's the, that's the, that's the group I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to grow. I don't wanna just work with people who wanna eat better. I want people who understand why we're not eating as good as we are and why this message is hard to get out. See, once you're on the hero's journey long enough, you soon realize the obstacles. And that's why I focus so much on them because I've been on them so long. You see this with everybody who's done this any length of time, Herbert Shelton, T.C. Fry. Once you've been involved in this for a long time trying to help people, you get tired of the roadblocks thrown in front of you and you get a little, a little angry because <laughs> you want to see so you want to see this implemented and there really isn't or hasn't been a good avenue for the presentation of this message. There is now and that's where I need your help. So keep doing what you're doing you guys. Man, I just love this channel. Give me a thumbs up. Always give me a thumbs up. Remember to do that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and if you like what you're hearing, subscribe and you can uh, be on top of, hopefully I'll be doing this every day for a while. Uh, and I've already done a bunch in the past a lot of people I haven't seen yet only because I'm just now starting to grow Didn't have very many subscribers as little as a couple months ago That's why some of my older videos don't have very many hits and they're worth watching So if you haven't seen my really old videos <laughs> old videos uh, Back when I didn't have very many subscribers. That was only a couple months ago. Uh, be sure to check those out uh, and I uh, I'm sure I'll probably have some dry days pretty soon. I've I've I'm hitting like 135 days in a row or something like that. I'm not even sure what that number is right now. So uh, I appreciate everything you guys are doing on the channel. You're making great comments. Uh, you're sharing the message. That's big, number one. You guys are the reason why this channel is growing. Uh, I know the content's good, but the members are good. You people are what is making this channel grow. You know it too, so keep it up. And you understand the importance of what we're talking about here. And, and, and for the people that are coming here putting out negativity, send them your love. And I'm gonna try to clean up as much of that crap as I can. I don't wanna, I wanna see a bunch of negative, negative shit on my channel. So that's not what I want this channel to be, man. I want people to come here and look at the channel and see people doing the, getting the results. I don't want them to have to weed through a bunch of shit, bullshit, negativity just to get to where they want to read something that's good. You see, this is part of how controlled opposition works. I've seen it work on other message boards. They just come in and throw so much crap in there that, you know, there's, there's like 10 good posts, but now we got 100 posts and it's hard to find those 10 good ones. So that's kind of the, the MO of how uh, the people who rule the world work. They control social media. They're called internet shills. I see you guys out there, they're easy to spot. And don't be fooled, don't get sucked into their conversations. Uh, and I realize a lot of them are two internet shills talking, so <laughs> I'm rambling. The only point that we need to realize is that we all got a good excuse for being an asshole. We're full of shit. And hopefully you'll wake up someday and you'll get rid of that. And I can guarantee you when you do, you're in for a treat. <laughs>